So the whole world is running by cause and effect chain. But if we look for the ultimate cause, it cannot be a cause. Because if there is a cause of the universe, cause of the creation, then again we will ask that what is the cause of that. So logically also this causality is restricted within the fragmented universe, in the dual universe we say. In this the causality is restricted. Absolute cause cannot be there. In the absolute level of the creation, the creation has to be non-causal. So such a non-causal creation only can be immortal, can be purna. That non-causal, we call it vivatta srishti. Vivatta srishti. In comparison with parinama srishti, normal level, whenever anything is created, the original cause gets depleted or changed. Without the change in the cause, we cannot have any effect at all. Without the sun getting changed from more hydrogen to more helium, we cannot have the radiation. As it is radiating, it is also undergoing a change. Anything in the world, whatever we do, the cause is always undergoing a change to produce the effect. Our body-mind personality is as it is growing, it is no more the old one. Every moment it is undergoing a change and the body-mind personality is different. But when we look for the ultimate cause, that is the ultimate truth, where from the universe is appearing to be, there this causal logic cannot work. In the ultimate level, the universe cannot be a product of another causal substance. The universe just appears in Brahman or Atma or consciousness. It simply appears. I have given so many examples. Suppose in dream, you are not creating the palace you are seeing in the dream. You are not creating the ship or the aircraft which you are seeing in dream. They just appear in your consciousness. Like that in the universal consciousness, the whole world is just appearing to be. Why do we ask for the cause of that also? Because our ideas are restricted by what we are seeing in the material world. That here everything is cause and effect, cause and effect. So we look for a cause for the whole material universe also. There we are wrong. The logic cannot take us there. So it is called vivatta srishti or apparent creation. It is called superimposition also. By the appearance or disappearance of the world, nothing changes in Brahman at all. By the appearance of the world or disappearance of it, Brahman remains Brahman. Even by projecting the infinite objective world, no change takes place in Brahman.